后，跟老子看到。Hey, what's up, everyone? Cry here. In this video, we got a 200% strength and myth invigoration on Ash. It does put my Ash primary build at 400% strength, which is not that crazy when you think about it. Since I didn't run a slash weapon, I could have just used my Revenant Prime that has 377% strength and get close to the same result. But the extra boost I got by running Ash with this invigoration is that I had. Better trash clear using my Glaive Prime, and I wanted to test the Smoke Shadow Augment, giving us 150% critical chance while invisible, instead of sticking Shuriken, which in my opinion isn't that good anymore. You lose the armor strip every Demolish Spurs, and you lose a mod slot that could improve your Warframe build. Might as well just perma armor strip the Demolist with the Unaru Operator School while using Lockdown to stun it. Anyways, I used my Corinth Prime as having an invigorate is unethical, so I decided to run a weapon with a decent ribbon and just have fun one-shotting level cap. This is the loadout I used. My Ash primary build using Roar Subsume, Vigorous Swap, Smoke Shadow Augment and Arcane Rage to enhance my Corinth damage. As Archon Shards, I used 3 Ability Duration Chrism Shards and 2 Parkour Velocity Amber Shards. This Epitaph build as a primer for my Corinth. This Glaive Prime build to clear trash mobs and farm keys. And finally, my Corinth Prime build based around the Riven I got. Even though I'm running Ash, I didn't go for Hunter Munition as the goal was to one time Demolist, so slash procs would be irrelevant. If you don't have a Riven, you can just use Prime Pond Blanc, Blaze, Vigilancy Armament, or Hunter Munition. The Panzer Vulpafila was my companion of choice for this run as I was running solo. And as Operator School, we use Uneru for Caustic Strike Armor Strip and Magus Lockdown to stun the Demolist. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and comment and I'll see you later!